There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, everywhere to be found. There is love all around, always love. There is peace all around, always peace. There is peace all around, always peace. There is peace all around, everywhere to be found. There is peace all around, always peace. There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, everywhere to be found. There is love all around, always Good morning, and welcome to Unity of Louisville. My name is Reverend Valerie Mansfield, and I'm so happy to be here with you all today. Let's just take a moment for prayer. We say thank you, Mother, Father, God, for this day, for the changes in our world. As we each stand up for what we believe is right and perfect order, justice for all, freedom for all, life for all, we stand with our brothers and sisters knowing that each of us is here and right now we are being called to act and we do it in that sacred sense from our hearts sending that love outward into the universe surrounding all those that are mourning all those that are in grief transforming the anger and hatred into love as we stand with each other knowing that black lives matter life matters and we are here standing together for change And so it is. Amen. And as we just take a breath, I want to welcome each and every one of you here today. And for those of you that are joining us out in your homes, just know that we love this beautiful sanctuary. And it is quite warm today. So... <laughs> Um, and if you all remember the summer's past, you'll understand exactly what I mean. So as we join together, I want to thank our special musician, Danette Rhodes, who is the violinist who is joining us today. Yay! Yay we have Judy Paulsmeyer on the piano, which we love, and so glad that she's here with us. Robin Gooden is our song leader today along with Philip Crowther, our music director. And so we are pleased that each of you are here. And Krista, we love you. And I am so pleased you are here today. So as we just begin with our opening song. Okay. Uh, this one is more than enough. Thank you. There is more than enough Humanity made in your hands. There 
Okay, now the heat's getting to me. <laughs> All right, you are more than enough. And that is the truth. We are more than enough to handle the challenges that are facing us today, to find the right and perfect solutions for everyone, everywhere. So today, if you're joining us for the first time, I want to honor you in that and know that whatever it is that we say up here, you can take it into your heart and contemplate it or let it go. Whatever resonates within you is what we want to share. And I'm sharing right now. Um, to all my family and friends. So if we haven't done that yet, let's go ahead and share today's service. And if you're joining us for the second time, welcome back. We're glad that you're here. And we're glad that whatever we said prior resonated within your heart and your soul that led you back to us. And if you're one of our many, many valued members 
and attendees. We are blessed by your presence, and we know that you're here with us and your heart. And we are never separated, and we are never alone. So go ahead and greet your neighbor online. And we'll all greet each other here. Virtual hugs, right? So we'll give ourselves a great big hug, seriously. Because there are many of us that are home alone, right? And our humanness needs the physical touch. So just to give ourselves that hug and know that we are more than enough. We are love and we are light and we are letting it shine. Today's affirmation, did we get it working? No? Maybe, yay, okay. So today's affirmation is from the booklet and this week we are doing the power of synchronicity the power of the divine sequence. So our affirmation is, I am one with the divine order of the universe. And let's say that together. I am one with the divine order of the universe. And we know that to be the truth. I am one with the divine order of the universe. And whatever we do, whatever actions we are called to, to make, we do it with divine order, standing in that truth that we are and always will be. And now as we begin our Lord's Prayer, knowing that we'll have a moment of silence after the Lord's Prayer, where each of us sends that love, that wisdom, out into the world, no matter if you're a oneness blessing giver, an energy worker, a chaplain, a minister, whatever title you give yourself, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we join together, sending love into the universe.
Today's daily word is joy. Joy is my constant companion, is the affirmation. So let's say that together. Joy is my constant companion. One more time. Joy is my constant companion. I discover reasons to feel joyful every day, even in the midst of challenging circumstances. I begin by centering my awareness on the Christ, the divine presence within. I feel love and peace lift my heart and possibilities for good fill my thoughts. I am joyous. I may experience joy as an exuberance, delight, and wonder. Joy may also come quietly as the peaceful assurance of God's presence where, wherever I am, whatever I am doing. My awareness of joy brings a glow to even the most ordinary day. As I engage wholeheartedly in all that is mine to do today, I share my joy with everyone. Through kind words, a sunny smile, and a warm welcome to everyone I meet, I radiate joy and bless the world with my positivity, happiness, and bliss. And from Psalms 118, 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And so it is. And so now as we center ourselves into our heart space, allowing our thoughts to settle, settle into that peaceful presence that is alive within us.
Let us be free from those worrying, distracting thoughts. Let us be present to this now moment, this time of renewal, a revitalization, re-energizing ourselves for that which we are here to do. Allowing our breath to flow gently, naturally. To that place of peace. A place of infinite possibilities comes from prayer, from our thoughts. The power we have to open our eyes and awaken to a new world. created with those powerful thoughts of righteousness, of love, with wisdom, compassion, and understanding. We are present right here, right now. Connecting with that divine spirit, that Christ self. Seeking the truth for ourselves and our brothers and sisters. Wherever we are on this journey, we stand in oneness. We stand in peace. And we stand as love in the silence.
we give thanks. We give thanks for this day. We give thanks for all that is. All that is happening right now. Because we stand in the truth. And know that love, as one, one humanity, we are stronger. And we awaken to that new life for each of us. Whatever it is, we know that is something better. And we give thanks for that, for eternal life. And so it is. Amen. Good morning. You know that there's a lot of change going on in this world, and change is good, and change is scary, and there's a divine order at work in the universe for all people, for each of us individually, individually and for humanity. Today, our beautiful musician is an instrumental a violinist. You probably will be seeing more and more of that on this, from this platform. More instrumental music. Because our, 
world as we've known it in the past is no longer the world that we live in. We have gone through a lot of turmoil and unease to awaken, to shake us all up. That's part of the divine order. And even though we don't know yet what it looks like on the other side, we know that all the chaos in the universe creates light. There's a pattern to the journey. It's what we've been doing to the last six weeks. And that's what we're going to be doing until the end of this month, is praying. And there is a divine order in the universe that set this into motion. Because right now, prayer is what we all need. That support and that love of the divine. And so I invite you, again, to get comfortable and to be comfortable in the silence. And so now I invite you to come back to this now moment and answer a question. Was it comfortable just to be silent? Because it's not always comfortable when we go within. The answers are not always what we want them to be. Life does not unfold for each of us as we think it will. And that's okay. We have to be okay in all of it. And know that we are never alone and that we stand together. in that power of prayer for each other. Doesn't matter what the circumstances are, doesn't matter what the challenges are, what matters is that we connect in our heart space and that we learn to agree and disagree in love as a society. That's incredibly important. And I don't know about you, but the last 10 days has really had me thinking. And I, I've had some serious conversations with some people about my own thoughts, their thoughts, and what's going on in our world. And yeah, it can be very scary for a lot of people. And I do not discredit that at all. Fear can be real, but it's not our truth. Hatred can be real, 
but it's not our truth. Corruption, brutality can be real, but it's not our truth. Doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. For me, what it means is that I still have work to do, as we all do. Because 155 years ago, slavery was abolished. But yet, we have seen played out again and again and again that that's not the truth. And I have compassion for all of those who are out on the streets protesting. And it's been very hard for me not to leave my home and go to the streets. But I made a commitment that I would do it a different way. And that's something I've had to wrestle with because it goes against my nature. Not to be out, standing, with my brothers and sisters walking for justice for everyone. I've had to find different avenues to do and act on what is mine to do and act on right now. As I'm sure many of you have. And I'm sure many of you are out on the streets, and I love you for it, and I thank you for it. And know that I am there with you in spirit. And I am there behind the scenes. And for those of you that know me, I work a lot behind the scenes. I always have. It's kind of who I am. And that's changing, and yet, there's a real power for me to work behind the scenes. It's actually a safety mechanism that I put in years ago. Because of my own, um, my own experiences of negativity against me, my ancestors. Being a woman in society in corporate America in the 70s and 80s, it's not easy. And we all have these challenges. And right now, they are overwhelming each and every one of us with social injustice, with environmental catastrophes. And total disruption in all of our systems. In our governmental systems, in our shopping systems. I mean, just everyday normal life is changing and continues to change on a rapid pace. I don't know, is anybody else feeling that? Anybody try to go to the store and it was closed at five o'clock? Yeah, if you don't always listen to the news, you might not know that. And then when you do go, you're supposed to social distance yourself from each other, right? And you're supposed to wear a mask, right? And Right now, because of limited hours, that's not always possible. And then what do you do? And how do we manage? I've, I've ordered um, for delivery home. That didn't really work for me very well. <laughs> um, and that's okay. It just didn't work for me. I like to pick out my own fruit and vegetables. And since I 
eat a lot of that. It's kind of, you know, where I've gone. We each have a role to play. And we might not know what that is until we ask. So today I'm going to ask you to answer your calling. Whatever it is for you. There is something a desire that you have that is right here waiting to be birthed to make a change, to see it through because 155 years is a really long time to wait. And I don't know about you, but I'm done waiting. So whether you're fixing food to feed those who are out on the streets, supplying water to wash out the tear gas from our eyes, making masks to give to people who have no other means to get them, and handing them out on the street. Whether you're doing childcare for those that are working for what they believe in and standing up for. Whether you're educating other people about what it is that you stand for and why it's important to you to see the changes that we must make in our society. Divine order is at work in all of this. And I don't know if you recognize it or not, but I sure do. I've seen it coming, and it's not over yet. We have a choice to make, each as individuals, to stand up for what we believe in, or to watch our world die. In my opinion, that's our choice. It's not political. It's the truth of who we are. We are one being. And I am tired of seeing God's children brutally violently killed, maimed, displaced because their skin is black or their skin is brown or their skin is red or their skin is yellow. Amen. That's right. Amen. There is no need for that in our world. Bullies have got to stop. And we are the ones to create an avenue and manifest a way to sit down with other people, with other beliefs, and disagree and agree in love. Because I'm a realist, I guess. I know that we're not always going to agree. And when we disagree, we have to not take it personally. I had to really look at that this week. Because I had some people disagreeing with me. 
And that's okay. They've had other life experiences. And it doesn't make them wrong. And it doesn't make a difference in the end. What makes a difference is how we behave towards each other as children of God. Doesn't matter what our skin color is, doesn't matter what our religious beliefs is, it doesn't matter what culture we grew up in. What matters is that you, myself, and every person that's walking on our streets worldwide is a child of God and deserves joy peace, and love with wisdom and understanding from everybody else. Our thoughts create our reality. So what are we thinking? The song said it. Our thoughts are prayers. What are we praying for? Let's stand up together. Go within and find out what you are calling, being called to do right now on this earth. What stand are you taking for change, for transformation, for yourself and for the world? And it's not too big. Don't be afraid. You will be given all the tools that you need that are required for you to be successful. We live in an unlimited world, an unlimited universe. And if we join together as one, which is our true nature, the change is happening today. There's a passage in Charles Fillmore, Adam Smashing, Power of Mind. And I'm reading from page 52. I'm going to change the language here a little bit. When we get our ingenious mind into action, we always meet every emergency with something better. There are many examples of the power of mind which should make us pause when we are tempted co to consider any situation disastrous or nearly so. Every adverse situation can be used as a spur to urge one to greater exertion and the ultimate attainment of some idea that has lain dormant in the subconscious. It's time to bring it to light. It's time to bring it into our superconscious that I am. I am the change that I want to be in the world. Charles goes on to say, people everywhere on earth are now realizing as never before that the well-being of this world rests with its inhabitants. Now, this book was written in 1937, and we're still today dealing with the same challenges that we have been dealing with for the last 
2,000 years because Jesus taught us the same thing. Enough is enough. It is no longer a religious dogma or a phil philosophical theory that the destiny of the race is in the hands of man. God has given all things to us to use as we shall determine. Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. The time is now. The calling is yours. Namaste. Thank you, Danielle. It was beautiful. And thank each of you for being here, for sharing your light and love in the world and doing what is yours to do. And now as we move into that time of sharing our love and our gifts with each other and with this community, I invite you to go to unityofloyville.org or unityofeastlouisville.org, whichever church you are associated with, and make a donation. There's a donation button there, and I invite you to participate. Or take time and write your check out and mail it to the church address. Or just take it in your hand, in your heart. Whatever it is that you're giving, if it's a, the love, know that that is enough. That we all are called at different levels, at different vibrational rates. And that exchange is perfect. As we say our prosperity proclamation together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive.
church. So it is. Amen. And we know that these gifts go in and through the community as love. And it radiates outward as love. Fulfilling the mission of this church to transform ourselves and the world through love. We have some new and exciting classes that just started on Thursday night, so you can still join. One is with Mark Helm. It is Seeker's Guide to Co-Creating a Life of Abundance. And that's on Thursday nights at 6.30. And then also on Thursday nights at 6.30, and I'm sorry about this, it just happens that way sometimes. We have Reverend Jill Andrews, who is a Unity Minister, minister in, from Detroit from Ohio, <clears throat> who does a fabulous job teaching the Bible. And so Gwen and I talked, and we invited Reverend Jill to teach Jesus' teachings. We have several students who are on the path to become licensed unity teachers and the possibility of becoming ministers. So we wanted to give them a different perspective of the Bible. And then on Tuesday, that's on Thursdays at 6.30. On Tuesday, we are having fireside chats with Chuck Fulner, our board president, and myself, and I'm sure there'll be a couple other board members online, at 10 a.m. and at 5.30 p.m. To answer any questions about what's going on at Unity of Louisville, just to connect with each other, because we don't, we're used to seeing each other every week, and it's been, I don't know how many weeks since we've seen a lot of you. And we just want to check in and answer your questions and see how you are as we all move through these turbulent times. And we move through them together, standing up as love. You might want to check the calendar because um, I think that's where they're all at right now. I know that the Seekers class, you can uh, click on the picture and it'll take you to the registration page. And the same thing for the Jesus teachings. And you can also find them on our Facebook page. No, you can't? Okay. Well, we'll fix that. So... That's what happens when our efficient person <laughs> takes a new path. And everyone else is not up to speed yet. So now we're going to do our prayer for protection together. The light of God surrounds us. I am light. The love of God enfolds us. I am love. The power of God protects us. I am power. The presence of God watches over us. I am present. Wherever we are, God is. I am divine. And all is well. Namaste. <laughs> Meant to be. 
Namaste, y'all.